What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the This Life Podcast. As you can see, we brought to you a very special guest. Personally, I know him as Canelo, but he says a lot of females know him as that. So I'm going to change his name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really about to get him in trouble. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Cool. What's up, everybody? My name is Dale Gomez, 17 years old. Um, um, what's your social? <laughs> <laughs> Credit card information. Oh. <laughs> Mom's so maiden name, <laughs> address, <laughs> good phone number. <laughs> nah, um, you can add me on Instagram, vibe with Diego. Um, yeah, so. he's starting off strong. I wasn't gonna add his strong. Instagram to like <laughs> <laughs> the <other. laughs> Started off stronger than any any other guest. Any other bad. guest, y'all, yeah, I'll be talking shit there. <laughs> uh, I mean, every other guest is just like timid. Yeah, they're too. They they are. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm, I'm Gio's sister. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, no shade on your sister. Bro. No, you're the one talking shit. <laughs> no shade on your sister, but I mean, we need more guests like Diego, yeah. bro. <laughs> Come prepared. <laughs> Bring some shit <laughs> like this guy. Have a relationship. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that later. Damn, but. We, we're not even there yet. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a he's a close friend. He's a bit on the younger side. So those of you older ladies, he's seventeen. Yeah. I and he's the captain of the Atlas soccer team. I'll take anyone. Uh, uh, my fault. Nah. All right, but hey, would you take me on a date? <laughs> <laughs> he's seventeen. <laughs> 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 Jesse Siete, under age, oh. <laughs> not 18 yet. Hey, uh, when's your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> November 17th. <laughs> oh, I heard it. Okay. Oh, right. fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be 21, but you like, still be 17, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll be, I'll be 22. No, 21. <laughs> but we got a lot of stuff to cover, so we're going to go ahead and start off this uh, episode with Geo section. He's a little, you know, under the weather. He might not be in the Geo next is? sections. Yeah, Gio. Yeah. What? <laughs> you might cut him out. <laughs> We're just saying that so we can kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> but here's Gio's section with, did you know? Address it towards Diego. Yeah. Ask him if he did. He Ask know. him okay. if he knew. Okay, Diego. <laughs> yes. Did you know that astronauts grow two inches in space? Really? I didn't know yeah. that. Damn, I can't even grow. Gio, you, 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 <laughs> you, you need to go to space, Gio. You can't grow here. I'm fine, fine. <laughs> Gio, my boy, you got to go to space. Yeah. <laughs> I, need, I need to be fucking astronaut, I thought, dude. Per, I thought I thought it was more than shrunk. That. Wait, no. hold on. No. So, how, how does no. that no, work? No, they lose weight. Gravity doesn't ah, affect them. Ah, that's the, the weight mm-hmm. How does yeah. that work? You, your limbs just, like... Like, yeah, because yeah, gravity's gravity not pushing there. you There's down. Doesn't like, yeah. something else get bigger though? So, so what if I'm just like, <laughs> like, what if I'm constantly like facing upward plank, like what? facing upward plank? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm asking. What? He's expecting his <laughs> penis to grow. Oh my god, he's <laughs> always <laughs> like this. Like no longer. gravity. That's what I'm saying. It'll pull my no, no, because there's no, no, it's there's not no sense of up. direction. Yeah. So it won't pull it up or down. Okay, well, if I go to space, will my cock grow? <laughs> that's what I asked. That's a good question. <laughs> that, that, that's that's the question they have right now. <laughs> I mean, it's a good question. It is not a question for know. us. Though. <laughs> we, I'm not. Asking, we don't, don't fact know. check. You're asking the three people that have never fact yeah. checked in their life. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, well, well. I know, like. Y'all smart and go to school and shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, but we don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I just need y'all's most educated guess. I'm gonna say I, no. I don't uh, think so. Nah. I I, I want to so. say. You yes. want to? He really wants to say yes, yes. but I want to say in yes. I, I really want to <laughs> hear. <yes. laughs> I want to feel confident. Cause like I mean, if everything like if you're growing your muscle. Oh, wait, is it your muscles or oh, your bones? I, I have a, no, I have a theory because I'm thinking that it's just your joints and there's since there's no straight yeah, line your joints, your joints. It's just like you know. Okay, yeah, there's no joints in your cock though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have one. <laughs> so mine's the only one that goes up the right turn. <laughs> just me? <laughs> no, you guys. Okay. Remember from the astronauts today. <laughs> that that would be a question. You know what? If you see. An Neil Armstrong. Hey, Jack Swagger. <laughs> Jack Swagger. <laughs> yeah. When have they seen an astronaut in their life? <laughs> we went to Swagger. Never did I see an astronaut in the two years that I was there. Oh, uh, bullshit. They, uh, they did the, the whole FaceTime thing. We got to talk to astronauts. That was oh, fake, yeah, they did. Bro. Yeah, your channel, man. I know, 
Oh, but damn, I didn't know that. That was fake. <laughs> he was gonna ask back. Wait, was it fake? Wait, a thirteen-year-old boy. Wait, was it fake? I think it was fake. It was like a simulation. Then he still to this day believes it. Yeah, it is. I I believe it. It's all he holds on to. Because I believe it. Because I remember they would like give people like a mic that they could talk to and you could ask them questions and he was directly answering. Yeah, but he probably wasn't in from the ISS. Yeah. Bro, he was no. floating and shit. He was doing You tricks. think he'll take time out of his day to be like, here's this middle school in Colorado Springs that is having a project or a simulation of them in space. Talk to them for okay, well 30 then, minutes. Then how would they simulate it? Because he was you doing can simulate simulate it like on Earth. Anti gravity yeah. chamber, like Yeah, but I thought I thought I needed like the <laughs> video editing. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, not, not, not video editing? No, I don't believe it. <laughs> Come on, I, know, I truly believe we talked to an astronaut that day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you probably did, but he probably wasn't in space at the time. They you said to he was at, in the ISS. Currently, it was like they said live. You hold on to that one, man. Or ISIS? <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> hey, he's, like, he's like, I talked to an astronaut, and before that, I took acid. <laughs> so I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. It was shrooms. I'm civilized. But no, nah, like. He's like, I clearly remember. I woke up, took a, gr- a handful of shrooms, <laughs> ate them, and then talked to an astronaut. <laughs> yeah, he was, was there. there. I was in space with them. He's <laughs> like, don't tell me I don't remember, because I remember how that day went out. Yeah, because I remember floating, guys. I, <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> but know, that was interesting. I did not know It's crazy, because... Geo could go up to space and still come down average size. <laughs> Below, Below average. average. Below average. Below average. <laughs> Imagine you go so up to average. space and you come back shorter. <laughs> I'll be so mad, bro. <laughs> so <laughs> mad. Yo, yo, my whole life's been a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I hate oh, this. But, but would your cock be bigger? <laughs> that's that's the real question. That's the real question. That is the real question. If you guys know the answer, do your research. Let us know. But hey, comment if you know any astronauts. Ask yeah. them for us. <laughs> <laughs> we only want to know that. <laughs> yeah, we only want to know if your cock grows. Fuck anything else. But that was Geo's section with Did You Know? Nice. <laughs> Siri calls me uh, daddy. What the? Alexa what the? does too. Really? Uh, Alexa does too. Yeah. No, Alexa calls me Mr. Stark. No, Siri calls me daddy. Yo, no, young dagger date. Hold on, I'll, I'll bring over mine because I can't be constantly. Hey, Siri. What's my name? We're recording. <laughs> yeah, we're recording. Bro, that was a dude too. That was a guy. <laughs> and why do you have the guy voice too? Yeah. It's not even the girl voice telling you that. that. You said we were recording? Yeah, we're okay, recording. The, the, the podcast got to hear this because I forgot it was this. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, guys, before we start, uh, this is what daddy... Danny, <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. St- st- keep the same energy. <laughs> and then Danny has his name on his iPhone. No, this is what my phone decided to call me. No, 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 no. you said I'm yeah. No, okay, whatever. Uh, hey Siri, what's my name? Yo, Danny. But since we are friends. I get to call you sweet cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse that it's the guy. <laughs> sweet cheeks. Like, the I think most that makes random, it random accent, bro. Yeah. You're like, Siri, talk dirty to me. He gets down and dirty. Oh, man, let me tell you. But don't play. Get in the camera, dog. I, I'm in. Oh, fuck. He, he don't right, bite. No, nah, I bite, though. Oh, okay. Mm. But. No, I'm, I'm going to be uh, a person in space. That's fine. No, That's straight. why we got a small couch. Oh, I yeah. can scoot over. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Did, did we ever name the couch? No. <laughs> why are we Who name, name a couch? couch? <laughs> can, can we just... Let's, like, let's can be, a couch can it be like... Name? Yes. No. Can what? it be like the casting point 2.0? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you happy, it yeah, can be. It's okay. Anything's possible. All right. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and get into the next section. Canelo, as you guys heard from the first section he's 17 he's a senior in high school and he's he's making one of the next drastic decisions in his life where to do molly i mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean where to go to school 
right? So you said you're gonna, you're attending, like fully enrolled. Yeah, I'm committed. You're to fully committed yeah. to Arizona State University. University, or University of, Arizona. of Arizona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Damn. For architecture or architecture engineering? Architecture, just in general, just architecture. Gotcha. Okay. For five years. So oh, so you're you getting a master's? Uh, probably. Wait, or wait. In the five years, are you getting? Yeah, I think because I think I'll get my four. Is my four years is my bachelor's, right? Uh huh. And then the five, that's five. Fifth year will be my master's. So you oh, okay? So you decided just off the bat go, ma- bachelor's and master's. Yeah. Okay, I thought you decided to go to the five year plan for architecture. No, I think I'm the master. Yeah, because Caesar's in like the seven year yeah. plan for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the seven year. <laughs> this is my seventh year of my fourteen year plan. <laughs> <laughs> So, but, I mean, architecture and engineering are kind of, like, the same for those of you that don't go to college. I know what <laughs> architecture and engineering are. I, I, it's, Caesar, all, I, all I'm hearing right now is you're trying to upplay what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Even Engin- though you are you keep telling me I'm failing, dog. Engineering <laughs> sucks, bro. <laughs> no, but we wanted to have Canel on here and give a little bit of perspective, right? You know? Someone who tried college, someone who's not doing very well in college, but still <laughs> going through it. Someone who's close to graduating, and then someone who just didn't try college at all. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. But, I mean, have you ever talked to personally with people your age that are in college? Or is it just older people that already graduated so telling like, you what you do with your life? So, like, I'll find different ways for me to, like, see maybe, like, see what the process is like and see that, you know, College is like a big decision in your life. Hell it no. can mess you up or it can be the greatest thing in your life. So yeah. <laughs> so I go to a different counselors at my school, see like what's up, you know. Um, you know, they are they're always gonna doubt me because, you know, as like a Colorado Springs small small city, uh, small mm-hmm. school, yeah. they're gonna not think that, you know, oh I'm gonna go to the smallest school here in Springs and you know, I wanna take it somewhere else, you know, because I see myself doing something else and I feel that like I can do it, so that's why I took the opportunity and just did it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Nice. So okay. I'm but, excited. But it's only your counselors. You haven't talked. Do you have older brothers? Um, no, I'm the oldest. You're the oldest? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know anybody that is in college or has graduated college? Um, my cousin is in college right now, but she, she graduated, but... She's doing nothing, so. <laughs> <laughs> so no, she, I get no information. <laughs> no <her>. information. <laughs> so, what was her major? Um, ah, oh shoot, I forgot. I forgot. That's why she did not even do anything. If so she's doing know. nothing <laughs> with it, then it's not nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So. Probably business. <laughs> yeah, probably something oh, stupid God. like business. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, G. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> any questions what are what are your expectations going into the whole college thing oh, true my host um like what I do you like to like be hard classes because you know college is different from high school it's like a big transition uh-huh. so i came to realization that you know you have to like be ready you know because it's whatever's coming is gonna come okay and um and that's why i have to be mentally prepared physically prepared and like Ready to go. So get a brain aneurysm because <laughs> you're riding hard as hell, typing super hard. Well, whoever told you that is yes, yes, yes. yes. Like I know they always say like uh, haven't they always told us in like elementary school, and middle school, yo, uh, middle school is gonna be super hard, and then yeah. in middle school they're like yo, high school is gonna be super hard. Yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, the great grade schools, you're just following the same shit. All right, go to class. Your teacher knows you, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. But college is a whole different ball game. Yes. And, like, you're going out of state and, like, completely just to a whole different school. Like, it's way different, right? Like, yeah, we didn't go out of state, yeah. but we do know a lot of people who did, and it's both good and bad. Yeah. I guess you can say, like, yeah, yeah you're going to be... You've always lived with your parents, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, well, that's yeah. one thing that's going to change. Mm-hmm. Right? No more carnita asada. For real. Oh, <laughs> yeah. the, the one thing I would say, if you move in the way, bro, learn how to cook. Like, that is 
the best Critical. thing you can do for yourself. Yeah. 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 Maro <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I promise, bro. You'll get sick of fast food and all that. Like, before you go, t- tell your mom, your pops, whoever, to help, like, help you cook. To help you cook. Give like, you recipes. Like, figure that, like, figure it out, bro. It's it's a blessing. So, like, every day, f- like, from now until I graduate, till I move, I'll be watching my mom, like, cook. Okay. So, I'm making sure. <laughs> yeah, especially, like, frijoles, because, you know. Every- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, frijoles. Frijoles, tortillas, tamales. Yeah. I did as grew up eating that shit every day, and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how to cook Now you're though. sad, because you don't have it every day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you go to eat at your mom's? Nah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> A lot, yeah, but doesn't mean I know how to make them, too. <laughs> okay, all right. No, but that's good. At least you're, like, taking notes, knowing how to cook. That's good. That's one of, like, big essentials. Yeah. Big essentials. Yeah. Um, one thing that you will need to learn is how to just deal with people in general. Yeah. I'm not saying, like, in college, but in the real world. Like, all of us can, like, at jobs, in college, anything, like, learning how to deal with people, good professors, shitty professors, good classmates, shitty classmates. Like, you're going to need to know how to talk to people and deal with people from here on out. Because you don't get to see the same people every day like you yeah. do in high school. Yeah. This is going to be completely different. Mm-hmm. Bye, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, but. and like in Arizona, you don't know. Do you know anybody in Arizona? Um, Do you have family over there? Nah. Damn, this okay. So it's like okay, you. you know, it's going to be tough, but I think the best thing you could do for yourself is go out and separate yourself from your family. Find a wife. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Find a wife. I'm out, Bob. My dude, we can go outside. Gets married yeah, you're good. two weeks into Arizona? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. no. But, but, but for real, for real, like, like, the best thing to do is separate yourself from your family because yeah. I feel like that's the best and fastest way to grow. Yeah, because I want that freedom because I come up friendly, like, it's not freedom. It's, <laughs> it's <a necessity>. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you think it's freedom until you die until you're like tied down by bills and yeah. trying to eat and homework and all that. It's not. Yeah. yeah, he means freedom from like your mom telling you. Yeah, you to yeah, pick yeah. up your socks. Like, I can go to parties. <laughs> <laughs> That's his biggest worry. Yeah. <laughs> what are the parties gonna be like? <laughs> I mean, I did my research that University of Arizona is a party school. So, so yeah. Boulder. So it's Boulder. So it's Boulder. Boulder. Yeah. If you want to practice, ah. go to Boulder. Yeah. <laughs> Party over Go to there. Boulder for a weekend and just f- pull up. So one of my counselors was like, Diego, when I see you, I see Boulder. I'm like, <laughs> nah. It's because they, they want to keep you in here. Yeah. They want to keep yeah. you. Yeah. They want to give you the safest Especially because of financial like, reasons, too. Because, like. Cheap. Yeah, when you, when you talk true. to us, you said that was your biggest worry, like, debt and financial reasons. Yeah. Why? Because, like. When you go to out of state school, I mean, I did go to scholarship and everything, but it doesn't cover everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like, I have to find different ways for me to like actually pay it off. You okay. Know? Cause um, there's I I done like the calculations with my counselors. I done everything, mm-hmm. and they predict that I'm gonna be in debt and a lot of debt, um, debt enough that I can't even do things that I want to. So, but for me, I use that as motivation, cause like. The there is th- ways. They just haters. They, they yeah. haters. They just haters. <laughs> <laughs> haters. Exactly. But like, bro. I do believe there's ways for you to like pay that off. But you have to do that extra like hard work in order to do that. Yeah. It's so, yeah. Because like to get scholarships, it's like people aren't gonna throw scholarships at you. Yeah. Like, you have to chase. You have it to yourself. look for them. Yeah. 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 So you can add, like me and Gio. I think together we apply to what over a hundred and twenty five scholarships. scholarships. Yeah. How many did you get? Huh? How many did you get? I was close to getting one. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it was a Daniels. It covered everything. Oh yeah, the Daniels. Yeah. I didn't get anything. A yeah. hundred and like twenty five scholarships and together. Y'all suck. And we didn't get one. Says <laughs> 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 a guy who hasn't tried getting any scholarship. <laughs> yeah, I don't want. It. I don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You have no room to talk. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna continue. Uh, you're gonna shut up. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might have. No, but at, at least talk. you know you got scholarships. And you have some financial yeah. stuff, but yeah. And it's Arizona, so it's like one of those close schools. I forget what that tuition is called when it's like a closer school. Mm. Um, 
But you still pay out of state. Yeah, I have to pay out of state. Yeah, he still pays out of state tuition. Yeah, yeah. But it's so like it was weird because in Arizona, it's so weird. Like I can't go there and be go to school for the first year and get residency. They yeah. won't let you. Uh, they won't let you. Mm-mm. So I'm like, Dang. damn. So I have to pay full tuition when I'm there. But yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, cause the only way for me to actually get residency is actually get a house there or get like an apartment or. Mm. Or if you have family there. Like yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. What were you thinking? Getting a house? <laughs> <laughs> not that easy. <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like from what I people have told me is it's good to be in debt, but with a degree, cause the degree helps. That's what they say. Yeah. No, nah, but I feel like but nowadays, it, nowadays it'd be, it'd be eating you alive. That, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like nowadays, like it'd be going like getting more expensive to like go get into school and shit. And then like the jobs aren't willing to like to pay. And, yeah. and then yeah, yeah, like just because you have a degree doesn't guarantee you anything. Like it gives you a better chance at jobs, mm-hmm. but it doesn't guarantee you a job. And the thing is that like everyone wants you to have experience but you can't fucking get experience if you've never had the fucking job in the first yeah. place i hate when people do that yeah. especially yeah. jobs when they like oh you have to have experience jobs. Well, i'm trying to get experience from you yeah. exactly <laughs> jobs and internships like i'm trying to get internships for engineering that's what i was thinking of doing too but they're like we want you to have this many years of experience and i'm like but they're like that's what the internship is for is for experience what? Yeah. but you need experience to get into it where am I supposed to go get experience yeah. if you're not giving me experience yeah, yeah like it's, they'll do you like that for sure yeah but uh, like you just gotta keep pushing on yeah. it yeah right you say you're a good student and I believe you and if you're gonna hit the books hard you gotta know how to hit work even harder yeah right and you say you don't work right now have you you've never had like a, a real job I worked last summer, actually. Okay. In landscaping, but. But you've never met my friend Uncle Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, taxes. <laughs> yeah, tax. My my man, taxes. Let me tell you something about taxes. I actually bro. did my. I hate that guy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I actually did my taxes this year. You did? Yeah. Nice. Why? Um. So I was working. I was working with my social security. So I was working oh, for my oh, social. Like actually, so actually, they were taking, they were, cause I was making decent money, and they'll take a certain amount, and like that amount, that's how much I got back. So it was kind of simple since I have not married or have no kids, no nothing. So okay, and you're young. I feel like they can't tax you as hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You think so, but fucking. But no. Caesar's well, in debt right now. All the government money, bro. Yeah, cause you're like what, like twenty. <laughs> no, no, no. I, okay, hold on. I always got confused because isn't it like taxation without representation illegal? It's like against the constitution. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, if you're under the age, if you're like underage and you're not allowed to vote, isn't that taxation without representation? So you're saying doing my taxes legal? No, it's not illegal. It's just. Are illegal. you calling him uh, illegal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying the taxes are illegal. I'm saying you're illegal. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like. Is it illegal to tax a minor? No, because they have a taxation without ju- representation, though. But they, they can't ha- vote. They can't. They don't have a say to wherever their taxes go. That's have a taxation permit. without representation. That's shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's against the constitution, right? I've always been conflicted about that. Mm. But when he decided to work under his social, put in, uh, I'm, I'm guessing he filled out a W two, right? Yeah, he had to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Had to. So he kind of like went through that process to accept those taxes yes yeah, so i went there for two hours and got taxes yeah. still, and then he's still, changed the he's fact still that a dependent taxation too. without representation are you saying are you dependent <laughs> we're not well, we're not gonna well, dive deep into this guy no, you want my social you want my socials if he yeah if he lives with his parents then he's a dependent yeah. well you can be marked as a dependent and be a dependent those are two different things yeah because i am not marked as a dependent but i do yes because you've grown his head and you can pay for your own shit <laughs> like yeah you're, you're supposed to he's under <laughs> 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 he's not to. <laughs> no but i've been a non-dependent for like a while now mm. okay let's get back to college <laughs> right, yeah, back to college anyways <laughs> College and taxes. College, yeah. taxes, and debt. And per, like, I know people are going to scare you with debt, and debt is, like, a fucking scary ass thing. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, is that you can't be scared to take out a loan. Like, if you need the help, take it. Yeah. So, if that's true. Take it, but, like, but not, like finish school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't take it and be like, damn, this shit hard. Yeah, and take then drop it and, out. <laughs> but be smart about it. <laughs> like, you have to be smart. You're, yeah, don't be scared, but also be smart about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because, like, I mean, obviously, oh, 
Like, let's say you do get, like, $100,000 in debt. But your your first job straight out of college, let's say you're really, really good, you're, you're already making six figures as an architect. It won't be too bad then. It won't. You'll be, and depends where you live. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to make, like, $100,000 and go to Cali because that's just making, like, $50,000 yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, you got to be, like, very careful and know how to work money and, like, your finances and stuff like that. And post a chingarle. Yeah, I, I hear yeah, the college thing you could do is, like, be tight as fuck with your professors. Yeah. And then they could, like, you know, since they've already get, worked around that field, they, they have hookups. Yeah. yeah. I do that now with my teachers. I'm like, hey. <laughs> but what are, you, what are your Colorado Springs teachers going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In Arizona. They're, they're high school teachers because they failed at their majors. Because <laughs> <laughs> they didn't decide to go above and beyond. <laughs> uh, no, but, yeah, try to get close with your professors. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, how big is the school? It's pretty big. Damn, that's it's the tough thing about it. It's like, a D1 basketball team. Oh, shit. Uh, they have a D1 shit. rugby team. Fuck. But so I watch some dudes how we tackle each other. It's a big-ass class. It's going to be a big-ass. Yeah, you're 1,000 class. It's going to be harder for you to get close to the professor. Yeah, because like where I'm going to be studying, like, like it has, like, their own college, like, whole department for architecture. So oh, I'll be, be going okay. there. Okay. So. Well, you could probably get in close with the architecture professors, but, like, you're maybe maybe you'll take physics 1000 well you probably will for sure yeah maybe you'll take chemistry 1000 those classes you're looking at like from 200 to 500 students Sheesh. probably yeah that's like how much in school in my, in my high school yeah. <laughs> my graduating class. that's how much my whole high school is <laughs> no, that, that three eight. that might be the whole that high is school. the whole that, high yeah. School, bro. yeah yeah your whole high school in one class. Imagine yeah. that. Damn. And you like come in late and you sit like in an auditorium, but like all the way at the top. And you have to find a seat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like being close with those professors, but then those professors don't even matter. Yeah. Right. They're just, chemistry, just physics architect. dudes. Right. <laughs> but yeah, you got to get close in with architect and like, obviously the second you're out there, try to find a job. Yeah. That's, right? I think I'm, uh, I don't know. It depends. I might do work study. Mm, or just find a jump idea. around campus mm, yeah. or something. That's a good yeah. idea. I do, both you and I do work study. Mm -hmm. And it's good because, like, we get paid, but we also do our homework. Yeah. So we have time to do stuff like so this. So when you think about it, you're probably just, you're just doing your homework and getting paid. Basically. Yeah. So, okay, that's cool. But, like, when you're at work, obviously prioritize work. Yeah, because yeah. I applied to two jobs. I think one of them was, like, a resident um, assistant. So, like, people at the, dorm, the dorms. RA? Yeah, an yeah, RA. RA. So, like... If somebody's like light bulb messes up, and they're like, "Hey, Canelo, come." That one's good because yeah. you get free housing for. Like, yeah, that's what I was sure. thinking. Yeah. yeah, two years. And then I applied to the other one where I help like disability kids. Okay, that trying one's to like good too. help them and stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta make manage to make ends meet. I know. I chin garlic. I chin garlic. Basically, Danny, Danny's right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, no otra. <laughs> that's how it is it's you tough but you mean sweet cheeks what did you say at first <laughs> <laughs> uh, no but I, f I feel like as long as you keep your, your head on your shoulders like if it I I doubt you'll be like oh this is too hard and then give up yeah. if you yeah. put if you put enough effort to like get scholarships and, and work hard enough to make it out of state I feel like you'll be good all the way through. Yeah. It's also a lot of balance. Like, you can't dive too deep into school and forget about work and, like, your social life. Yeah. You also, you have to balance all three of those. Yeah. So, social life is big. You got to de-stress. Yeah. And you got to. Yeah. yeah. You can't be like those losers in their dorm rooms. Like Gio. That every day of the week. <laughs> party. Heck, his girlfriend's got him like this. Why <laughs> <laughs> <By> the balls? <laughs> yeah, they're not even his balls anymore. <laughs> they're, they're her balls. Joe <laughs> just holds them for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, I mean, make sure to get out there and do shit. Like, do like those, like, the school activities and shit like that. Yeah. yeah so that'll be fun. Because then you can meet people. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, live your life, meet people. Honestly, okay. Enjoy the college experience. So I was listening to a, this is this is the last thing I'll touch on before we end this section. But I heard I'm pr it was almost certain on a podcast this morning. Uh, it's every school basically teaches you the same stuff. It's just more professors are like more known by their research. But it depends the school on your connections. Obviously, there's not a lot of people to connect with here in Springs or like in smaller schools. 
than there is like in Harvard and Cornell and stuff like that. There's more people to talk to, more aliens. Cornell? Yeah. Isn't it Coronado? Or, never mind. <laughs> College. Right. Shut up. You're right. Right. <laughs> College. right. So, make those connections. Yeah. Like, a lot of people have made it to the top just by who they know. True. Yeah. yeah. That's how you got to do it. You got it, though. You got it. We yeah. believe yeah. in you here at This Life Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> if nobody does, does you, these four people do. Yeah. If, <laughs> yes. if anybody out there goes up to me or is like, tells you they don't believe you, pull out this section of this video right here. Yes. We support him. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> those, four people, <laughs> those four people are his biggest supporters. <laughs> <laughs> they won. <laughs> okay, that, sweet cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> but here we, here we are, supporting Kanye. Nope. Yep. Supporting the dream. Supporting the yes. dream. See you guys in the next section. Woo! <laughs>Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. Welcome back to your favorite section. Favorite host. Oh, <laughs> that's some mind shit. fucks. It's always hey, some you know what? Can, can we just settle this? Like in the comments down below, can y'all tell us what your favorite section so, is? So, since, Diego, since <laughs> I know <laughs> Supreme <laughs> Chief, he's probably gonna say me. So, <laughs> don't give Supreme Chief. Please be honest. Please. <laughs> so only Diego's gonna argue with himself in the comments. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> Supreme Chief is just gonna argue with himself. All right, guys, I got a doozy for you today. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, here's with it. So let's say, right, you're having a stroll down the beach. Okay. okay. And you pick up a rock. As I do in Colorado, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As you, Danny does all the time. You pick up you pick up a rock, right? Uh-huh. And you're like, I'm gonna toss this bitch into the ocean. You okay. toss it. Okay. Uh, mm. Toss that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably the last person until the end of time that will ever touch that rock again. Damn. Uh Oh shit! Cause like, oh, who, we're, who's oh, gonna get the, that one specific rock out of all the million rocks? We're, we're at the ocean, right? Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know why the fuck. I, thought I said we were the beach, of, dog. Like what? I, thought, I, thought, I don't know why I thought we were at a lake. Or like even even a lake. <laughs> even we're in Colorado, maybe. <laughs> even. <laughs> even, been here too long. <laughs> even like a lake or a pond. Like you throw a rock, nobody's getting it out of the well, middle. If it's man-made, they they. They have to clean out the water. Uh, I mean, I guess. Not the ocean. <laughs> yeah, not the ocean. <laughs> I know, oh, oh, we're talking about the lake. Oh, we're talking about the lake. Okay, okay, okay. Is, like, okay but, but the wait, ocean is different. Yeah. If yeah. they are man-made, do they just drain lakes and take and like clean they them? Drain, yeah, they clean them. They have really? to. Really? Like, yeah. wait, do, but like do they the drain them? Memorial Park, do they like clean that? Is that man-made? Is yeah. It? <laughs> I don't, no fucking, no bullshit. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it is. I think it is, yeah. I th- I've heard it is. I heard yeah. that they drain and they find that one time they found a dead body. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I I that's what that. I heard. Yeah. They, they found a dead body because it floated. No. no. They they had to drain out the water. No, bro. bullshit. Obviously, I've never dude. seen Memorial Park drain. Yeah, that's drain. bullshit. But, yeah, that's Maybe true. Did the night time? I've lived know. here for <laughs> <those guys. laughs> overnight. <laughs> <laughs> During the night time when nobody's around. No, th- this is bullshit, right? And then obviously, Danny, your your body floating thing. Why would you throw a body into a lake and not tie a cinder block to it? Yeah, you really. He could have. We talked hey, about. There's some real, hold pe- hold real stupid why, people. Why, why are you assuming it's a murder? He could have drowned. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's because we had murder on our mind last yeah, podcast. Well, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it could have been a complete accident. Man, uh, could have drowned. <laughs> and nobody, they just left him die. Nobody no, knows. Oh, maybe no, nobody he's noticed. drowning. And then maybe he went skinny dipping late at night. Who the fuck knows? When they drown, yeah. when they drain it. When he <laughs> <drowned>. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on. Back. Back to the topic <laughs> okay good okay so so same thing vice versa like if you're digging into the earth uh-huh. like who like gem like miners whatever uh-huh. they're probably the first person to touch that rock since Ever. the beginning of time oh shit that's actually true hmm. yeah shit's crazy dog. Yeah, what? if crazy. you think about it we're just objects touching other objects but like we Happens. consciously <laughs> do it and other objects don't have a conscious. I love touch, touch objects. Oh, you know what I heard? Name of Gio. What? That technically atoms don't touch each other. Oh, yeah. So, technically, we don't, don't, we don't even so touch anything. Much, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm fucking... One of you nerds explain that to me. So, atoms... Atoms don't touch each other. Never come in contact if with each other. If they do, we would be one-third of the size we are right now. What the fuck does that mean? 
That means if all the atoms in your body would be like, you know, would be small. If all the space, <laughs> if all the space in between your atoms in your body were to just disappear and all the atoms would be touching each other, you'd be from your uh, uh, fucking me to your ankle. That's how yeah. like big you'd be. Because like, atoms have like I'd air. be geo size. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be atoms. <laughs> you'd be taller than geo. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Adam girl they touch. So yeah, atoms have space between them. And even if I go to touch you, there's still space between my so atoms and your atoms. If they did touch what we just can join. Then why does it hurt? <laughs> then why does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so That's why the ultimate question. Then why does my heart hurt? <laughs> 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 just diving deep into it. <laughs> Physical pain, emotional pain. Yeah. Why does everything hurt? I, I'm, no. I'm dead as confusion right now. No, yeah, like... In between your atoms, and even in between each molecule, there's space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, just ponder on that. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I, I've, I've heard that before, but then, like, it, that doesn't make sense. And, like, How does it not make sense? Yeah, like, you could, you, bitch, I'm touching you. <laughs> it's because <laughs> it's it's your it. atoms are pushing back on you as you push on me. Atoms That's why you can feel it. So is this like some some magnetic type shit? Like yeah. You know, so kind of each, yeah. So each atom, there's a polar. Uh, I don't know why we're talking about this, but there's a positive. <laughs> you a want negative. a science lesson, real quick, Danny? <laughs> yeah. There's a positive, a <laughs> negative, and a neutral, <laughs> and a neutral uh, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. molecule in every atom. Right? Obviously, they vary in different atoms. Every one of us has both positive, negative, and neutral atoms. When I push against you, it's the the positive and negative. Positive, my positive atoms pushing against your. We don't fact check here. How come you don't get stuck with me? Like, how come your positives don't touch my positives? Well, positives repulse each other. Yeah. Uh, you mean positives and negatives? Yeah. Why Why doesn't your positive get stuck to my? Because negatives? the force that of of my arm is stronger than um uh atom magnetic force. What if we both push together? <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> get we interlock our fingers like this, then yeah, gotta, we're stuck together. Gotta, gotta go everywhere together like this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. Touched. Okay. Yeah, but next time you go to the beach and you throw a rock oh out there, <laughs> think about it. You're probably the last person in time to ever touch that rock. Man. We're special. Yeah, man. First, yeah, every one of us is special. Every yes. one of us. Touch no, rocks. <laughs> Go outside, touch grass, yeah. look at the sun, <laughs> goddamn. Eat some ass. <laughs> Try it or something, goddamn. <laughs> but yeah. that was our section. Well, with guys. that, get fucked. <laughs>y'all welcome back to uh your actual what favorite and your favorite host nah, dude, therapy just, sessions with dr luna shut up shut up <laughs> 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 whatever you say man <laughs> i'm a doctor okay anyways the doctor doctor is we here with explain with science to <laughs> say five minutes ago <laughs> hey is this is, is this is, is this your section no sorry uh, sorry dr luna sorry dr sweet cheeks <laughs> <laughs> Today we got my boy Canelo. You're my favorite guest right now. <laughs> <laughs> we got Canelo in the therapy seat. And uh, of course, like always, you get a hold of my boy Clementine. Damn, it's cute. <laughs> it's, it's a safe zone, remember. You can, you can talk about <laughs> anything freely. So tell me, what brings you in today? What brings you in today? Oh, <laughs> oh no, ah, God, <laughs> in reverse. He got you. I, I might be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts <laughs> This is how he finds out. <laughs> nah, just play. No, no. So, uh, I, I'm gonna I'm just, you know, I feel like everybody could relate to this. Especially, you're in high school, right? You're 17. You, you've been through it. Uh, have, you, have you ever been in love? Everybody has a time that they fall in love. And um, I did have a time where I fell in love, and I experienced it. You know, you go through it, you talk, you know, you love that person. Like, the first time I say love you is, like, weird at first. And then, like, as you get, like, with other girls, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> my word loses shit. meaning. <laughs> Keep going. So, like, so I did have my first love. It was, like, back in eighth grade, actually. Dang. So... You knew what that meant in eighth grade? They just started getting <laughs> younger and younger, dog. I know how to do my timetables. 
<laughs> <laughs> Times tables equals I can love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we only got like what, like twenty minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. So oh, okay, sorry. So like, I did fall in love. It was my eighth grade year. So it was weird because I believe that love, love that first sight. It was, uh, it was oh. great. I, <laughs> nah, but so it happened, and I w- so when I saw, so this all happened. So I was like, so we have like this thing where we go to the library. We just get books and everything. And we have to, like, read it and, like, do, like, a quiz about the book. So there was, like, one day I finished the book, finished the quiz, passed it. And I went to I went to the library. And I'm trying to go find a book and everything. And then I just, somebody just caught my eye. So <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 Like that. So, so tell me about this gem, then. What, what caught your eye? So, like, I don't know. I think it's, like, when you see that person, it's, like, it's you. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> mm. oh, what, what it's you it? I want. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 for you, like, what was it? Was it her hair, her eyes, her smile, that ass? Like, <laughs> 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 All of those. <laughs> 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 and then, like, so it was weird. So I started talking to her, but, like, she didn't find no interest. So it's mm-hmm. like, you know, got play, hard to get, you know. So, I, so, I, <laughs> so I, I, I did everything that I could. I texted her, like, every day. You know, when I was working, because I was, like, helping my uncle sometimes. I would text her. <laughs> and, like, she wouldn't respond. She would give me a dry response. But, like, I kept going. So, like, I love that first time, you know what I'm saying? So, so there was a time. It was, like, during v- Valentine's Day. I, I finally got her attention. And I I just, I messed up. So, like, I started to, like, text this other girl. And she yeah. found out. I'm like, girl, you had your chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say she was playing hard to get, so like, what? Yeah. It so like, no sense. Was in the right. <laughs> yeah. And then we were like talking. We were like, you know what? We, let's just start dating freshman year. So that happened. <laughs> um, I was playing varsity soccer. You know, who wouldn't want a varsity guy playing fr- mm. as a freshman too? So like, mm, I know that feeling. Mm. Confident. <laughs> 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 so like, but I went to a real school. <laughs> <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> And where's your career at now? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all want me in this chair badly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. And then like, <laughs> keep going, keep going. We're kind of long. <laughs> and then like, so we started dating freshman year and everything, and like, she cheated with one of my teammates. Oh, Dang. Wait, you said cheated? Cheated on me. Damn, did you beat his ass? No, I was oh. a freshman, man. And he was like a junior. What? So like for like a girl as a freshman trying to get like getting the opportunity to get a junior, like they would take it. So like that's why I think like the generation <laughs> just, just goes make it better. <laughs> 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 so like so he was a junior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's fight. better. Gotta respect it. <laughs> he dapped her up because he's like, damn, you got a junior. <laughs> 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 nah, but and then like I, ever since then, I just never dated. I just talked to girls and just to see like. What are they about, you know? Because, like, as you get older, like, especially in this generation, like, people are, like, they take advantage of, like, love, I guess you can say it. And when they start talking, they just find interest. And then, like, they don't really talk about the real, like, the real stuff, you know, the real shit, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) 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 So, like, like, they don't talk about, like, the future, like, your goals and all that. They just want to, like, spend time with them, you know, fuck here and there. But, like, it's real. Like, when you want to find a relationship, like, really talk about, like, the relationship. Because it's going to come with, like, drawbacks and all of this. So, like, I've been in so many relationships for me to understand, like, there's so many, like, things you have to, like, go through in order to make it work. And so, like, like right now I'm in a relationship again. <laughs> <laughs> he said After so he said like, like uh, he Okay. <laughs> My fault, my fault. Nah, but I like <laughs> but, but this time like you're a senior. You, you, got, you, you get the high ground. Nah, I get the freshman touch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. My uncle, you better get your ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> nah, but, yeah, so, like, she's cool and everything. Like, we both have our futures. Like, we both have it planned out. She's going to Siusu Pueblo. Um, She wants to be a doctor and everything. And, you know, I'm doing other things. So, it's going to be hard for me to, like, do long, yeah, long long distance relationships but like we're gonna make it work hopefully um but yeah that's what i think about this generation we just gotta because love has a time and place for everybody 
Yeah. I do believe that for sure. And everything yeah. happens for a reason. And um, there's times where like relations don't actually work, and some do. And that's why I think that there's a time and place for it. Thank you. Facts. <laughs> 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 I almost Pay cried in. a little bit. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Doc. I really needed that. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, damn. Uh, so, okay, so, so you got a girlfriend now. The last girl you were with cheated on you. Uh, how like how long ago? Wait, 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 quick, wait, wait. Before, before I keep going. So that the gr- the girl I just talked about my first love that was freshman year. So now I'm a senior. So she's not the ex. I had so many other girls. Just to let I don't forget about this. <laughs> nah, but nah, I'm just kidding. But like, when you start talking to a girl, like first, when you start talking, get to know them first. Like, introduce yourself. Introduce like what your interests are. Just don't go and be like, "Oh, you're cute." Nah, just fuck him first. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know if you like him or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's that post nut clarity, bro. <laughs> exactly. We talked about this. <laughs> Y'all, who let me be a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> He's giving him bad ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta fuck him. <laughs> I'm, the one, <laughs> I'm the one giving him the advice. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny's like, from my experience. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but. That's how it is, man. That's why. That's how it is. So, so tell me, cause you said she's going to CSU Pueblo, and you're going to Arizona, like, like. How is that gonna work? Yeah. How you yeah. guys gonna? Yeah. What, what, what's your guys' plan? plan? Like, walk me through. Especially that. cause college, it's like new experiences, new people, and like it's I, a whole different thing. Yeah. You guys tend to experiment. You, you're gonna meet a bunch of new people. Bunch of new baddies, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and I know getting getting the the females in an issue to you, Canelo. Like exactly, that shit comes easy. <laughs> it's natural; they come to you, dog. <laughs> School doesn't though. <laughs> shit. So what, what? <laughs> so, so what do y'all plan on doing? So like we did talk about it. I mean, we're still like in, still in that process trying to figure out what we're gonna actually do to like to make it work. I guess you can say. And it does come a lot. It's very hard at first because, you know, you, you want to be with this person. And, you, and the fact that you can't see them every day is hard. And so, like, we did have a fa- find a plan. It's just the fact that we both have to want it. Because, like, there's a way to make it work. This is a way for everything. I, nothing's, Im- nothing's impossible. And um, there's a way to make it work. But it kind of goes with, like, the both people that need to work it out. And, like, be part of, like, the actual relationship and be, like, committed. Cause a lot of people in this generation suck at committing, like they just like, hey, let's go fuck, <laughs> like Danny. <laughs> like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a bunch of dickheads like me out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but relationships nowadays are just like, for the moment. It's not yeah. like let's talk about the future. It's like, what can I do now? And that's what. That's like, like a, how a lot of relationships are nowadays. It's yeah. Like, I, I I just want to ask, like, I don't want to put any worries in you. But like, in you? Y- you know, you you said you <laughs> 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 in your what? <laughs> I didn't even listen to the question. I don't. I don't want. Okay, I don't want you to worry. I don't, I don't want to be that guy. I just gotta ask though. You said she's already cheated on you once. Uh, so how did y'all build up the trust, and how are you gonna be able to trust her in a long distance relationship where you? Y'all not gonna see each other like Damn. at all throughout the year. Like just I was looking ready for this question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's mentally <Yeah>. preparing. <laughs> but um, I don't know, cause like at first, like when you like see me like doing it, it's like, damn, you're dumb. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, there comes a time and place where you, like you kind of have to let it go, cause we, me and her were like both immature. Like we were rushing into things. Like there was a time I almost cheated, but I didn't. Loyal. I'm just kidding. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Nah. I'm just kidding. Babe, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, um, like, we were just immature. And when it happened, at first, I let, like, social media, like, determine our relationship. Mm. So, like, like, I was stupid. <laughs> but, um, still now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, so, like, there is a way. F- so when it happened, I was like, like, what the fuck? Like, 
like how this shit happened to me like specifically because we were like we were doing so well like our relationship was like like probably the best couple out there like not to be biased but like we were making it work actually making it work like i saw myself with this girl for many years and um at first i was confused but like I, I thought started I was gay once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, not, not that kind of confused. <laughs> <laughs> Do I like her? Do I like her? <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> no wonder you're fine. <laughs> you're <Hey>. Siri. <laughs> that's why, yeah, that's why Siri is a man. <laughs> they call them sweet cheeks. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I might still be confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Fuck, we might need to switch. Put me in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but we're g- I think, I think like we come like a long way to like make sure we can make it work. You know, cause like if you both want it, it's gonna make it's gonna work. You know, and um, we both want it, so like. We just have to keep consistent with it. I mean, it's going to be hard because n- everything's not going to be the same how it was before, for sure. And that's what people need to understand, that when some when you break up and get back together, it's not going to be the same. It's going to just, it's going to build toxic. It's going to be become toxic. And same thing with me. I mean, I don't really like, I don't really talk to her like every day or anything. Because I come to like, a rela- like, when you're in a relationship, you don't have to talk to them like every day. Yeah. And, um... Cause like that love is still there, you know what I'm saying? Write that down. Write that down. Let me get my notes out. Write that down. Yeah, don't make her. <laughs> make sure she don't grab your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, my fault, my fault. You want to nah. be a co-host? <laughs> <laughs> you want to take this spot right here? <laughs> Look, this dude doesn't really talk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Joe, nah, Joe, you're. I respect you. I respect you. You guys made it work. You I respect you. Alicia for permission to say something. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here to give it to him. Dude. Yeah, that's why he doesn't say anything. Don't talk. <laughs> it's that serious. <laughs> nah, but I respect you, Joe. I respect you. Alicia, that. give him back. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can I go to the podcast today? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how it is. Gio, he's on your head. I know. <laughs> nah, I just kidding, Gio. I love you. Ah, oh, shit, but, but um, you know, I, I've been in a very similar situation to you. I've heard. We know. We told them. We told them. That's what happens when you come late. <laughs> Yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> he knows more about you than you do about him. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is wild. Okay. Hey, yo. But I, I could offer you some piece of advice, but you know where that got me. But <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you what you could do differently. Yeah. Tell him. Tell okay. Him. okay, so. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come I on, feel, sweet I, cheeks. I Come feel, on, sweet cheeks. I feel like, first of all, both of y'all absolutely have to be ready. And I know by what you've been saying, I, I feel like. You you are hundred percent committed into that, but then you know at the same time she might say the same thing, but you'll never actually really know. Yeah. Um, and that's always like the tough part about it is that like even if you are at the moment, like people's emotions tend to change, people tend to feel differently, and I know you feel that way now, but like you can't expect this way to feel like that for four years straight, especially with very little like, like I mean like even if you're communicating with her constantly, you gotta remember like a lot of like part of attraction does come with like physical touch and like seeing someone in physical like a yeah. lot of emotion gets lost through phone and it changes a lot so it's just like you know i hope you're all just mentally ready for that like there's still times where like i still think about what she did but like i still have to remember like that was in the past we were immature and all that because like when it happened i was like it like messed me up like mentally and everything physically too sometimes and um like i was to go through it and that's why i started to like get into like focus on myself more and build that happiness and self-respect for myself. And I did. I actually done it because I committed to a college. Oh, I <laughs> got hope. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I started playing Sunday League Division One. Oh. Come watch our games. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just advertising anything. Yeah. <laughs> my fault. My fault. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Only social media. Snap, Twitter, Kick, Instagram, Kick, MySpace. Only fans. Oh, okay. You really got one? No. Danny was about to sign up. Subscribe, bro. It's like between me and you. Nah, but. Like, it's, it's difficult and like I feel like like frequently y'all gotta try to make those journeys to see each other cause it gets tough out there you, there's temptations everywhere yo okay so we talked about this we touched on it I don't, know, I don't know if it was last podcast or like two podcasts ago but like for girls girls lose respect after someone cries in front of them right <laughs> okay so like this whole situation where she like cheated on you whatever has your respect like, or, of seeing her gone down, or, like, have you been able to build that back up? And, like, how have you been able to do that? So, like... Because, like, I know that's, like, a tough situation. Yeah, it's very hard. I mean, I don't think many people can do what I'm doing right now. Cause, yeah, like, for sure. Like, that's just, like, it, like just, like, like me saying it, like, sounds stupid, low-key. But... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound stupid. It, it kind of like shows like, how mature is, you are. Honestly. The thing is, I have a plan. Like I'm mature enough and see, like I know what I'm doing, you know. And so, going to your question, um, so like for that respect, like, like I have I have respect for you because I'm like that type of person. I have, I'm very kind. I'll give you that respect. And, um, bro, can I date you? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a good ass man. <laughs> I still might be gay. <laughs> I might follow and Danny said, get married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I love you. But <laughs> <laughs> this escalated very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just kidding. It's because I always just started dying when, like, they were just talking about you. I'm like, 20. <laughs> He's like, 20. Y'all, 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 I, if y'all talk about me, I gotta be here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe come early next time, time bro. I tried. All right, I'll say one last thing before like we get to the next thing because it's about to be 20. But for everybody who want to get in a relationship, be be ready and be and like be happy. Like well, love yourself well, first. Actually, actually but, but before you get into that, I got one last thing to tell you. <laughs> if it starts getting too complicated Easy, and too no. stressful. <laughs> And it's just not feeling the same. Do not That's try to force it. That is the dick. worst thing you can yeah. do. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you, you got to know, like, if it's just time to let go, it is time to let go. Like, you just do not force it. Like, it just means that there's, like, better waiting for y'all out there. Like, both of y'all. Like, so, when I, so, like, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's just, so, like, <laughs> when I was going into the, like, doing it again, like, going back, I... I, I'm like low key like letting like the flow. Like I'm letting what happen happens. I'm not gonna force nothing. Whatever happens, happens. Because um uh, I try to force it and it's hard because like if they like just reject you and you're like like it brings down like especially your mentality and like your mental health and stuff. Because mental health um it's is like real. Like like stuff get into your head. Like I let that happen to me when like when when she cheated on me because like not gonna lie, so when it happened I was playing my semifinals game and that shit happened. Damn. So like think about that. Like I'm a captain. Damn. Shit. Uh, top player, that you know. Suck. Getting ready to like, go to college, maybe go play <laughs> for school. <clears throat> no, I was like confident going in there. We were um I think we were seventeen and one going in there. Damn. And um so like when it happened it was like like mental. Like it was all mental. It didn't care how good I was, how long I come from where we came from, anything, like, it didn't matter. It was all mental. So, like, now I'm matured enough that, like, that messed me up, but I realized that I have to accept it because whatever happened, happened. And you have to accept things that that happened, you know? Like, going back to what happened with you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm the <Yeah>. doctor here. <laughs> 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 but like you accepted, right? You accepted what happened and Yeah. Yeah. So like it's like you come yeah. to a time where you accept it and you just have to move on and just keep going. You know? You keep doing you boy. Keep <laughs> doing you. No, please change. <laughs> <laughs> do better. <laughs> do better. Don't do you. Do better. Because <laughs> <laughs> you are not good enough. <laughs> uh, but before before we end this section, I just want to say, whoever has Canelo's heart right now, you're you're lucky. You a lucky ass motherfucker, lucky girl, because he's mature as life, <laughs> yeah, dog. If, if you 
If you, fuck, <laughs> if you fuck up, I'm on your head, dog. <laughs> I'm on your head, bro. I will drive to Pueblo, my damn self, <laughs> and drop kick the back of your throat. Like, <laughs> dude. Crazy. I, I'm just saying that out there. If, if you're lacking, I'm going to pick up the slack and find him. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's mine. If you He's going to grab my balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but on that note, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Uh, on that note, we'll end uh, Dr. Canelo's uh, therapy session. Uh, yeah, because he, he did basically more fucking did therapy that. than you <laughs> that, That's what I was saying. I, f- I feel like Canelo just put me, all of us, and all of y'all on the chair. Uh, I feel like that's something all of us. So, like, so like to before hear. we move on, I want to say one more thing. That, like, so, like, I told um Caesar that I, I have, like, my own podcast in a way where I just talk myself. Like, I talk, I was, me about myself, I just, like, motivate people and be like, hey, make sure, like, you do this in order so you can be happy and like kind of give me like a realization to like people watching and so like like for you like saying that i'm like giving you guys like a, a lecture kind of like i'm really into that all right mm, so, so, uh, so okay. do, you, do you have a link for that <laughs> snapchat <laughs> <laughs> add me on snapchat. my uh, boy add me to the to the story yeah yeah well, so i have a story i have a story um it's called diego's podcast um obviously but uh, <laughs> you guys can add me on Snap. Is Diego Canelo eleven seventeen? Um, let me know that you came from the podcast when you added me, so we can I can add you to the podcast and go from there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll link it. it. I'll link it. it in the the description. I'll link it everywhere. But thank you. Yeah, Doctor, appreciate it. Th- thank, yeah, I'm gonna thank you, to Doctor. Be on this, that. Was, uh, this was a very refreshing. Call me Doctor. <laughs> Call me Doctor now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, doctor I'm the Doctor now. now. <laughs> <laughs> but. Thank you. That's where we're going to have to end this section. See you guys out for the outro. Yep. All right, guys. Welcome back. You know, that was... Honestly, I'm going to rank this one of the top podcasts. Yeah. Top... Top. Yeah, ever, honestly. Like, mm-hmm. not even top guest, top ever. Podcast? Yes. Like, episode? Yeah. I think so, too. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That. You see, when <laughs> someone comes and they bring the, the A game, that's what we want here yeah. at this life. Right? He came on here and he talked about what? We don't want no anything. I had cancer. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> the reason that episode did so good is because he shared it, bro. <laughs> Shut the hell up. No, but that. <laughs> Uh, disclaimer, I'm not gay. <laughs> oh, no, no, man. He's waiting for his opportunity. But just to end it here, we want to close it out with Canelo, you know, shouting himself out again. <laughs> but go ahead. Tell the people what you want. All right, guys. But I appreciate it for you guys who watched it. It's because this is like a good opportunity for me because I'm 17. I'm young and I'm coming from a family where we came from a lot. And I'm taking this opportunity because I like to speak out to the people and guys hear me say things and take it in, you know, take into consideration and everything. But if you guys want to, like, reach out to me, you know, if you guys want to talk about anything, uh, you guys can um, uh, find me on Snapchat. Like I said earlier, at Diego, Diego Canelo 1117. If not, if you're going to use Snapchat, like, old people. <laughs> Facebook. Uh, that's where I'm linking his Snapchat. <laughs> that's right there <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> but like, you guys can add me on Instagram. It's vibe with Diego, but um, with the with the width, put W T H, and then Diego. Mm. Mm, okay. Yeah. Smart. Thank you know, you. gotta take out the <laughs> I. You know what I'm saying? Snapchat. Yeah. Uh, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I appreciate you guys. You know, you guys yeah. are great people, great minds. Sometimes, but oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looked at Danny when I said <laughs> that. I was like, okay, we we had That's a good time stuff. having you on. You are yeah, man. you are much more mature and much wiser than. A lot of people I know. Yeah, we, and then, you know what? Like after your first year, if you come back throughout the summer, we will. Uh, we'll have you on. Yeah. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll love have you to have you again. again. Before and after. Yeah. Before yeah. and after. Should see where you're at then. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm still taking. I'm taking. Ah, taking for taking for granted. Oh, all you guys are in a relationship with that advice. <laughs> Yes, sir. Maybe. He's not. Yeah. <laughs> All of us are. He's not. No, yeah, but hopefully, <laughs> be on the lookout for I. 
now I want to push him to do his own podcast more, his own channel. Yeah. Uh, this you this Snapchat thing, we gotta we gotta push it over there. Yeah, yeah we man. gotta push it over there. Yeah, it's cause like the thing is like Snapchat only records like one minute. Nah, dude. So, so no like, more. cause I don't think people <laughs> actually watch it. Like the most views I got was like a hundred on my Snapchat. And well, that's just because you're just my you're podcast. Just, well, no, well that's your friends. Try, I was gonna say try TikTok. They do like three minute videos, and I feel like you get a lot more views there. Yeah, I would try going on TikTok. True. And if you ever yeah, need help, like, making your podcast, like, you know, like, one person <laughs> in this room that can, yeah. <laughs> that can help you out. <laughs> like, bro, me? <laughs> one person in this room. Alright, <laughs> 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 uh, clearly it's me. <laughs> Shut the hell up, I put this show on my back. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? You put the show on your back? Where's our TikTok page? Couldn't even put your own section on your back today. <laughs> I couldn't what? I said you couldn't put your own section on your back today. Canelo carried. Oh, Whoa. shit. Oh. <laughs> he got you there. That's where we're ending it, guys. We're ending <laughs> it on that note. Not but not. thank you so much for watching. Canelo, thank you for coming again. You, yeah, man. I appreciate really, you guys. I thank you for guys. bringing your A-game. Thank you for everything, dog. All yeah. right? Go catch him on his socials. Go catch him on his Snapchat, on his podcast. We'll see if we make an appearance on his yeah, Snapchat podcast. Catch him now before he's big. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Right now. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> see you next week. Bye. Peace. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs>